Hi there everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some very cute ear bonnets for your shite horses. I know some of you are wondering how I make mine, so yeah, I thought I'd make a video showing you guys how so you can make some for yourself. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is pick the shite horse you're going to make the ear bonnet for. Now personally I'd recommend using a horse that doesn't have a crazy sticking up mane or something, for example not using a horse like Missy here, but someone like Seamus here would be perfect because his mane is all flat. I'm going to be doing the demonstration today on Vegas, one of my new horses, and I think an ear bonnet is just going to suit her so well. So yeah, let's do this! Okay, brilliant, here we are. I'm just going to pop Vegas to the side there. So the things you're going to need for this craft are cling film. <laughs> um, you're going to need quite a lot of it, so I've just got a roll here. You're going to need a nice pair of scissors, so I've got my red ones, along with PVA glue, an old glass you don't mind getting dirty with a little bit of water in, an old lolly stick to stir with, though you could use a paintbrush or anything else that's similar to this, a big lump of newspaper, and obviously your chosen shellac horse. Okay, I'm going to have to clear up some space here a second. <laughs> I've just sort of put everything into the middle, I've got nowhere left to work. Okay, cool. All right, step one is to wrap your shellac horse in cling film because you don't want your horsey to be getting dirty at all. So I'm just going to cut off a section of this. Okay, I've just cut my bit of cling film. I'm going to attempt to wrap a Vegas up like a burrito. Yeah, so this bit's really important because you don't want to get your horse dirty at all. Oh my gosh, poor horse. You're going to look fabulous though once it's over. Okay, so now your horse should be looking slightly ridiculous in a little bubble, so you can just pop them to the side for now because we're gonna come back to them in a second. Now sliding on in your glass of water, PVA glue and stirring device, we're going to mix a gluey, watery solution. Oh my gosh, there's just like a dry bit of glue on the inside of the lid there. Yeah, so we're going to basically be making paper mache, and I'm not an expert at this, so I never really know how much PVA the ratio of PVA to water is, but I'd say it needs to be very sticky water. Okay, let, let's just experiment with this. I think I've got way too much water, but we shall see in a second. <laughs> So this is the consistency that I've gone for. It's very thick water, that's how I describe it. When you stir it, it feels thicker <laughs> than water would, if that makes sense. Just scoot on over to the side there. It's dusting. Ugh. Oh my gosh, it's stuck to my hand. <laughs> that's really sticky. All right, now grab your newspaper, tear a chunk of it out, like that. <laughs> and basically, you're gonna want to coat it in this gunky substance that you have created. So I'm just going to dunk mine. <laughs> Seems the most effective method at this point. Okay, once your bit of paper is dripping with this substance, <laughs> you're gonna take your horse that is covered in cling film, which is very important, and put it on their head. You're gonna want to mush it to the shape of their head. <laughs> it's not going to fit right now, it may tear. This is completely normal and okay because we're going to layer this up. Basically, you're trying to capture your horse's head shape in paper mache. <laughs> so what I like to do after I've put on a wet piece, I go back in with a dry one. <laughs> so yeah, you're going to really want to try and squish that to your horse's ears as much as possible. I know this is looking really ridiculous, but trust me, it does turn out nicely. You just have to keep persevering with it, don't give up. Okay, I'm going in with a third layer. Oh my gosh, it is stuck to my hands. <laughs> the paper mache is working better on me than it is. Vegas. <laughs> this is what she's looking like right now. She looks like she's got a Halloween costume on. She looks like a ghost crossed with a mummy. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for her to dry. I have got, well, I've lost count of how many layers I've got on. There's lots on there, so it's really nice and thick, and I've covered up any holes that were forming on the tops of her ears. Oh, my hands are so sticky. <laughs> I'm gonna need to go and wash them. Okay, while Vegas is drying, I'm just gonna pop her there, and I'm also going to go and get a couple more horses because I really want to make some more, and besides, I've got loads of this stuff left over, so I kind of need to. <laughs> Incoming! <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so I've got my selected horses here, I've got my cling film, let's do this. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so all of the horses and ponies have been wrapped, so they are completely sealed in. There is no glue slash water getting into them. Look at his little face, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you in a minute when I've finished paper mache all of their faces. <laughs> Start the time lapse. <laughs> I have left uh, the ear bonnets overnight to dry and they are looking really good. I'm really pleased with them. So we're going to move on to the next stage. So with your little paper mache hat, you are just going to try and pull it off of their head. It's going to be quite hard. There we go. <laughs> um, because it is moulded to their head. So don't be afraid to pull it a little bit. <laughs> you know, it looks so funny right now, but it's okay. We're going to fix this. Okay, so now you've got your little horse hat separate from your actual horse. You can just take your scissors and cut off the obvious uh, bits of the paper you're not going to need. For example, <laughs> these long bits that are dangling down. Okay, so I've cut it to about here because I didn't want to cut it too short. So I've cut it like this so far. And I'm just going to get Vegas out of her little bubble. <laughs> And now basically the hat should just slot on to her ears like that. See, it sticks perfectly. It's really cool. So when you've cut off most of the bits of scrap paper, it's time to actually make the shape of your ear bonnet. So I've grabbed my pen. It's very nice leopard print. And I'm just going to try and sketch the rough shape of my ear bonnet. Because it's really important to not cut it too short. Otherwise, <laughs> you can't really stick it back on after you've cut it off. Okay, so here you can see where I've drawn my lines. I've got it coming at a point at the front and then coming round at the side and up at the back. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. If it's too big, I can always trim it down, but at least I, ha I haven't cut too much off to start with. Okay, so let's do this. Chop. <laughs> that just pinged across the room. <laughs> Some extreme scissor cutting. Okay. I feel like smaller scissors may be easier, but <laughs> I've only got big ones, so we'll just have to work with this. I've just finished cutting that and it's like all of a sudden a ear bonnet has emerged from this sort of mass of grey paper. It's quite reassuring actually. But I'm really pleased with this so I'm going to go ahead and do the others and I'll see you when I'm finished. <laughs> a while but I have finally cut all of the ear bonnets I'm really pleased with how they're looking now the final step is to decorate them so adding color which is my favorite bit this is gonna bring them to life and make them look a lot less odd <laughs> I'm gonna be using acrylic paints to color mine I feel like they're gonna work the best because they definitely won't tear the paper like sometimes pens do so yeah let's do this oh and one more thing what I have also done is put on a saddle and saddle pad in the color that I want the ear bonnet to be so I've got something to refer to I've tried to create a rainbow so from red through to pink though I haven't got an orange because I didn't think any of the horses really suited orange and besides I don't have a saddle that has an orange saddle pad. The only ear bonnet I'm not sure about colour wise is Scardi's because I don't really know what colour would suit her really well. I was going to do her a nice light blue but I'm not sure now because I've already got three that are going to be that colour. I think what I'm going to do is just leave her to the end and see what inspiration hits me at the last moment. <laughs> Alright anyway let's do this. <laughs>
Okay, here comes the big reveal. Are you fully prepared for this? It is extremely cute. Okay, here we go. I'm absolutely thrilled with how these turned out. I'm so pleased with them. I think they look really, really effective, especially with all the creases in from the paper. It makes them look more like fabric. They are the perfect shape and size for each horse, which I love. And I mean, they just take a matchy-matchy set to a whole new level. <laughs> so I'm just gonna quickly go through each one. Starting with red, the first colour in the rainbow. Yeah, so Rummy, the German riding pony, got a red bonnet. So I've got Jesse riding him to match the colour theme. Then I skipped out orange and went straight to yellow. So Ziggy here has got a nice yellow set now. Then in green, we've got Bella riding Vegas. It is definitely more of a teal than a proper green, but it works particularly well because Vegas even has a teal green plaiting band in her tail. So yeah, that is very awesome. Then we have a lovely light blue set. So this is Chili, the German riding pony mare. And she's got this amazing sky blue outfit that suits her so well, I absolutely love it. And this also matches her plaiting bands in her tail and the two in her mane. The second blue we've got here is sported by Scardi. I don't actually have a saddle to match the colour of her bonnet, but she can just be ridden bareback, which is equally as nice. I did end up going for a blue on her and it suits her just so well, so I'm really pleased I did. Her rider here is Sophia, who doesn't match her colour-wise, but I thought they had kind of similar hair. It was kind of flowing to the side, so that's why they're together. Over here in navy, we've got Outlaw, who is a Hanoverian gelding. The dark blue suits him so well, and his rider, Brooke, completely matches him, which is so satisfying. Oh, he looks so handsome. And last but certainly not least, we have Blackjack, who's got the pink set. And riding her is Abigail, who is obviously on there because she just matches so well. <laughs> and also the detail in the bonnet is silver to match the silver bits on the saddle there. So yeah, that is really cool. Those are all of the different ear bonnets that I made. I'd really recommend having a go at this craft because it's really fun and the end result is awesome. If you do have a go at it, tag me in the photo over on Instagram. I'd love to see what you've made. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my YouTube channel to not miss any of my future up uploads and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now!